Hello, friends and family from around the world. This is Mike with Daily Events Worldwide, and we are on June 3rd, 2022. Welcome to another surviving day on the planet. Welcome to the Daily Do, giving you your space weather update, earthquakes, volcanoes, and as well, world weather. Starting out here looking at our sun, still pretty quiet after those few events that were posted yesterday with the Daily Do. Large CME is on its way to us and will be hitting us June 5th to the 7th. Looking at the last 48 hours incoming, cresting sunspot region, firing up and as well blasting away some plasma. I'm pretty sure we have an active backside coming in, looking at the last 48 hours outgoing. Newly formed sunspot on the left. Plasma filament erecting from the surface on the left as well. Other than that, not much to talk about. Looking here at multi-spectrum, noting out the large plasma filaments in the northern hemisphere that are still building, and as well, the CME from that C-class solar flare. And just look at the size of the umbra from the sunspot region coming in on the southwest region of the sun. That is some very energetic activity coming in. So heads up over the next few days. Having a look at the solar x-ray flux, it is in a low B, B range. Our sun did fire off a couple small B flares. Geomagnetic activity remains low. Real-time solar wind. We're sitting at 302 kilometers per second right now. And that is post coronal hole wind stream looking at the density bunches start to pile up again iswa space prediction spiral still showing that large cme on its way to earth heading to us for the fifth into the seventh schumann resonance for today a healthy power of 41 and it's been like this for a few days now very energetic electromagnetic field Amplitude of 41, quality 13, power of 19. Now let's have a look at earthquakes here. The past 24 hours, we're going to start out here with the most recent 4.7 reported in Guatemala, Concepcion. As well, 4.4 reported there today and 4.3 from last night. Minor activity continuing through Puerto Rico, but east of Punta Cana, Dominican Republic, 3.7 there. Looking at activity across the North American plate, Quinton, Oklahoma, 3.2. Things still swarming in Texas. you got to wonder what's up there. I know there's a huge volcanic field there. Mexico, Texas border. Warner Springs, California, 3.6. And that's a pretty rare spot for an earthquake. I don't really see that often. As well, 2.5 just northwest there. Activity, minor activity continuing through Alaska. Seismicity coming back to Japan, Naha, Japan, with a 5.6 today, as well a 4.7, Itoman, Japan. 4.9 here reported today in Las Polos, Timor-Leste, pretty deep for the area, Banda Sea. And then we get to the deep earthquakes region. We've seen three pretty deep earthquakes today, 516 kilometer depth, 4.9 as well a 4.3 Lavuka. Now this is the one that was reported last night and taken off a of USGS and it's back now. 598 kilometer depth revised as well today 544 kilometer depth. And just west there in Vanuatu 4.9 pretty deep for the region as well. So heads up everybody. We can expect a larger shallower earthquake to follow. Looking over South America 5.2 there reported in Salinas, Ecuador. As well, southern Peru, or sorry, Chile with a 4.4. Chile with another 5.3 as well. 4.3 there, southern Peru. 4.9 here reported in Greece as well. And Ponos at a 25-kilometer depth out in the open waters. Now, 
many people are going to report feeling that. But that is the last 24 hours for earthquakes across the planet. I'll give you a quick browse at the last seven days for earthquakes. And we've seen the increasing deep ones come back to Fiji. All of those yellow elevated rings that are most recent and deep. Action through Western Indonesia as well. Mid-Atlantic Ridge. But east of South America, South Sandwich Islands and Africa has been very, very quiet. North American plate just to keeps a rumbling. Stay aware and prepared. We're sitting at about 200 earthquakes in the past 24-hour period across the world. USGS anyway. Having a look here at the Pacific Disaster Center, showing the most recent satellite imagery, and as well pointing out the most recent volcanoes getting updated today. <clears throat> and it's been an active volcano day. Reventador in Ecuador, Manam, Papua New Guinea, Nevadas de Ruiz, Colombia, Swiss and Ajima in Japan, Sabincaya, Peru, Tacono in Indonesia, Etna in Italy, Sangay in Ecuador. And this is all just in the past six hours. So active day, looking at about nine volcanoes getting updated just in the past six hours. Across the world, still looking at a very large low over the Atlantic, as well observing tropical system, not named yet because it is not a tropical storm or a hurricane, but will be Alex. This is the latest satellite imagery, and you can see just in the southern part of the Gulf of Mexico, that low pressure center is still spinning there. Getting ready to wind up towards Florida. Expected landfall is Saturday, if not Friday overnight. Looking at the track there, it will be heading straight across Florida and into the Atlantic Ocean. Overlooking the rest of the world, atmospheric river of moisture developing for the west coast, heading into Washington and B.C. this week. Watch for that to flood over into Alberta, southern Alberta. You will be on a flood watch. Huge low pressure center in the middle of the Pacific. Big culprit there, just a, an engine spinning and throwing all that moisture eastward. And look at that moisture stretching right from the Indian Ocean across the Pacific. Large atmospheric river of moisture across the Pacific right now. Some crazy days across the planet. And I know a lot of people will agree. Some great changes have come and are coming. So stay tuned to daily events worldwide. Let's have a look at the weather forecast here. We're going to start out with Tropical System Alex. Looking at the forecast here from Ventu Sky, put together here with daily events worldwide. It will be making landfall Friday night into Saturday. And I've got a friend and a follower, Dan Falcone, Lakeland, Florida. Looks like the center of this low is going to be heading right over you. You asked for a hurricane. Well, it's on its way. Let's hope it doesn't get into anything serious. But Tropical System Alex is roaring up. Having a look across the rest of the country and Canada. Scattered showers over the next few days as cold fronts move through the warm days. Daily evaporation rains as well through central United States. Atmospheric river of moisture penetrating Washington, B.C. and then into Alberta. Now here is the, why we've got this flood watch going on. But we're also going to see some extreme weather as that cold front pushes through. Looking at Sunday, you could see some potential for thunderstorms through Calgary. But then the rain. And more rain. And more rain. About 70 millimeters of rain over the next few days. So heads up, my Calgary friends and family. A lot of rain on your doorstep. And it'll be stretching right through southern Alberta. A quick look across the Pacific Ocean at the forecast. Low pressure centers. South America, no major changes. Africa, no major changes. Looks like this system in the Indian Ocean is not going to form. We have no typhoons to talk about. Have a quick look at, at Australia. 
as we've got these systems just south of you that are going to be racing from the Antarctic and fueling in some very cold temperatures over the next few days. Heads up, you could be in the minus 2 to minus 3 degrees Celsius. Quick look here at windy forecast for your temperatures. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit that like button, share with your friends and family. Stay aware and prepared, stay young and have fun, and get your daily due. Bye-bye now. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button, subscribe, share with your friends and family from across the world.